stuff at one Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Man, I remember when I had my first job in a gym. I was 17 years old, and there was this dude. His name was Eric. He was this jacked black dude. Like, dude was in the most phenomenal shape. At least in my memory, he was. He was always shredded. He had these beautifully formed pecs, big arms. And I'll never forget, one day, we got done training, right? And I remember he's like, well... I got to get my protein shake down or else this workout meant nothing. We literally were in a spot at one point in the late 90s, early 2000s. We believed that if you didn't get your post-workout protein shake in, that your workout did not matter. And props to the supplement companies that paved the way before me to spread that misinformation. Now, to, to their credit, like we didn't have the data we have. The data that I'm citing today, which I will link down below, is actually brand new. And we keep learning and learning and learning. There was actually a lot of stuff around pre and post workout nutrition that still is. But Tipton did a lot of the studies on pre and post workout nutrition. Look up Tipton, T I P T O N. And even Tipton said it would take years of adherence and perfection for this to even make a difference. So even the guy who did the studies on para workout nutrition concedes that it really won't make that big of a difference to the average person. Now, if you were going for, let's say, Mr. Olympia, if you're an elite athlete, that's when it matters. And I will argue that if you are an athlete, let's say MMA, even basketball, where you're training multiple times a day, you want to get immediately post-workout. You want to get some kind of an insulin spike and some kind of a protein influx to help kickstart recovery for your next session. I can make that argument and I can make it pretty well. But this study basically took 25 grams of protein, had it pre and post workout. The difference was one group took it immediately pre and post workout. The other group, group took it three hours post workout and three hours pre workout. So there were huge gaps, right? And the findings were basically what I think a lot of you would have expected. That is that there was no difference at all. So what does this mean? Well, this means that as long as we get our macros for the day, let's say if you have 200 grams of protein, for example, whether you get it immediately pre-workout, immediately post-workout, three hours pre, three hours post, meal one, meal two, meal three, meal one through six, meal one through eight, it doesn't matter. Protein timing does not matter. Why? Because we found out a lot about the post-workout window. The post-workout window does exist you do see an increase in protein synthesis. You do see an increase in mTOR. You do see an increase in insulin sensitivity. You do see an increase in GLUT4 uptake, GLUT4 receptors. You do see those things, but it's not just for 24 minutes. It's for 24 hours. In fact, some data that was done actually in the 90s shows that it's 39 hours of EPOC, which is post-exercise um, energy expenditure. So you have those data. And the thing is, not one study is conclusive. There might be a study tomorrow that shows the opposite. In fact, I know, look at the funding. Gatorade funded some studies showing some really cool results from intra-workout nutrition, mainly carbohydrate. Now you could say, well, Gatorade funded it. Who the hell else is going to fund it? Not many people are spending their money funding research on how to make people with muscle, young, healthy men, bigger and more muscular and leaner. The studies are being done on AIDS, cancer, things like that. Again, like we, we get the money where we can and we fund studies where we can and we take the data and we put in this big meta analysis in our own brains and through meta analyses by other scientists, other people who are into this stuff. And that's where we extrapolate the best practice of what we have now. So my recommendation, get your protein in a gram per pound of body weight. Now, me right now, um, I'm probably competing in the next 10 weeks, right? Um, Texas pros have my eyes on, which is why you can tell I'm, I'm a little bit more lean than usual. Um, I'm actually eating enough food. Go figure. So, yeah, for me, it's it's I'm weird. Like, I defy all science. It's, it's all drugs, right? It's all drugs. Because other bodybuilders don't do drugs. E Never mind. Anyway, regardless. So, Helms' study back in, what was it, 2016, I can't remember the exact date, found that for co competition bodybuilding, you might want to jack your protein up even higher to 1.5 grams per pound, right? Like it's all evolving and it depends what works best for you. You also have to take an anecdote. Maybe that bro at the gym is right. 
because we've been right a lot of times, even during 2020, we were right about a lot of things that happened with the, um, can I, I'm not even going to risk this during the thing that I got shadow banned for, for mentioning vitamin D. We were right about a lot of things. Meatheads and bros get it right a lot. Regardless, get your protein in. You don't have to slam it post-workout. Me, I like to have a meal immediately post-workout because I feel hungry as hell and I burn a lot of glycogen and I tend to get a little hangry if I don't have it. But regardless of that, I want to tell you about something. Remember this, the best flavor, best-selling flavor of MTS way ever, peanut butter, cookies, and cream back in stock. So we have the six-pound bundles. We have seven flavors in stock. We are almost fully there. I want between eight and 10. I want a couple seasonal flavors. So we did two pound only. It's less per pound. It costs less per pound than when we sold five pounders, but you can mix and match because we got peanut butter cookies and cream, chocolate chip cookie, mint cookies and cream. We got cookies and cream, ice cream sandwich, chocolate and vanilla. So you take any of those three, mix and match. You can buy them as a single two pounder. You can buy them in a two pack as a four pounder, or you can buy a six pound bundle, mix and match as many flavors as you want. And it's just an amazing deal. Gives you an opportunity to not have to choke down five pounds of one flavor, but you can mix it up. You could have chocolate chip cookie for breakfast. You can have peanut butter cookies and cream for meal four. You could finish the day with chocolate. Just go back to old school. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to support us. Tigerfitness.com. That's tigerfitness.com. That's my site. That's how I pay my bills. That's how we keep all these videos going. That's how I maintain everything I do. That is what I do. One of the things I do, it's one of the main things I do. Okay, go to tigerfitness.com, support us. I'm going to make you a coupon code for this. Coupon code is, well, let, 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 me, let me think of a good coupon code. Coupon code is Katie, K-A-T-I-E. Coupon code is Katie. Why? It is my wife's birthday today. We will celebrate with a 10% off the entire site. Coupon code Katie. Now at tigerfitness.com. Go there, save, support us. We'll keep these videos rolling one to two a day, Monday through Sunday. Thank you so much. That's not a game. I don't know about you guys, but I do not use a briefcase at work. I use a backpack. I can put my food in there. I can put my laptop in there. I also like to carry these things to the gym. I put my clothes in there. I'll put food in there. I'll put my belt in there. I wanted to create the perfect tactical backpack, whether you're going to the office or you're going to the gym. So we created these tactical backpacks from Tiger Fitness. We have a computer compartment here. Look how big that is. You know how much you can fit in there? Got another area right here. You can put all your food, whatever you want, your outright bars. You can put jerky, put whatever you want in there. And there's front pockets for even more stuff. Plus, here you can put your drink, your shaker cups, your drinks over here. So we have white. Check it out. Right here, you can put whatever patches you want. And we even got different patches put on there. Right now, I got the Scratch logo. Nobody cares, work harder. And we got different options. If you want to go simple, you go with this black one. But I'll tell you what, this white one goes hard. Got the Nobody Cares Work Harder, the Scratch. On this one, we have the Tiger Fitness deadlifting logo, the vintage one. All these other patches to choose from that you can put on there. Do work. Nothing works unless you do. Property of Tiger Fitness. Nothing works unless you do right here. So many different options. This is the perfect bag. This would cost you over $100. We got it for under $50. Anyway, guys, I'm so excited about these. Go ahead and get one now, tigerfitness.com, while supplies last. And trust me, whether going to the gym, whether going to the office, this is the perfect, perfect backpack for you.